Andrew Tate, one of the most searched men on the internet right now with a lot of controversial takes. We want to find out what... Anytime there's a fucking New York video, you got to put the volume down to like 10% because New Yorkers can't speak at a normal volume, okay? Every fucking New Yorker has to like pop off. When, even, even if they're like ordering a regular fucking burrito or some shit, they'll be like, yeah, I want to fucking chop cheese on oh God, dead ass. Like, bro, you're literally from Connecticut. Like, you started living in New York last year when you got into fucking the NYU art school, okay? You're going to Parsons. Calm down, okay? I need to be fucking loud out here. But New Yorkers think about him. We're asking people about Andrew Tate. I hate that guy. <laughs> if you are listening, Andrew Tate, you are weird. Trafficker is a bald idiot, and I want to see him suffer. I agree. I have to agree with that. Everybody who likes Andrew Tate, they're just weird. How do you feel about the fact that- Is this the new thing? Because it's kind of cool. I like it. The, 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 like, the belly thing. What is it? It's like, it's like, maybe it's the Turkish in me. But I've been seeing this pop up on my Instagram. And uh, the belly chain, I'm, I'm on board with that. It's like, cool. Waist beads? No, not the crop top. Like, the fucking, uh, the, the, the beads. He has like a lot of fans and he's the most searched man on the internet right now. And he has a lot of impressionable young fans that actually believe that this is... Bro, you say it's been a thing since Shakira, except like everything old is new again. Obviously, fashion is cyclical. We don't have to have this conversation every single goddamn time. And I literally told you where that originated from. That's where belly dancing, like the, the, the belly beads are straight up a belly dancer thing. Okay. Like these girls are obviously young. I'm not even talking about them. I'm just, I just reminded me because I saw it. Um, like I have, uh, friends of mine that are age appropriate on Instagram that I see, uh, wearing it. And I think it's cool. It's a cool fashion, uh, style. She's 21, you sick fucks. I don't know how fucking young they are. I'm not even talking about them in particular. Everybody chill. Is the way to be a man. I honestly. This is like chat eats itself alive when there's like anyone who's under, like visibly under the age of 35. When there's a, when there's a girl visibly under the age of 35, chat goes fucking crazy. I hate that, especially with, like, new men, you know, like... I Either they go coom brain and go bananas mode, and they're like, ooh, la, 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 la. they're, like, just start fucking typing, uh, like, uh, like they're laughing in Turkish, okay? Because this is how Turkish people laugh. Like that. Or, or they just, like... Coolio's though? Yeah, all right, let's continue. Maybe cousin, mm -hmm. and, yeah. like... He has a pretty misogynistic father. Like, he doesn't respect women. Thank God for his mom. I want to teach him how to respect women, especially at such an impressionable age. Let's just hope for the best for our new generation of men. And here are some things that he says. A man who sleeps with 200 women is the man. A woman who sleeps with 200 men is worthless. Yeah, no, I give He thumbs, sounds thumbs like he down. sucks. <laughs> We're asking people about Andrew Tate. He's a bitch. He has some interesting takes. Women are property. What do you think about that? This is a person? This is- Yes. This is Andrew Tate. This is disgusting. This is a disgusting no. mentality. No. Oh, God. Like... Every single person that they've asked are like NYU grads or whatever, because- So, like, they have a very specific vibe about them, even though they're correct. Because, like, most normal people you'd ask this question to are probably gonna be like, Yeah, that's kind of gross, dude. Whatever. That's, like, weird, right? Um, that's odd. But these guys are like reacting the most lib way possible. They're lib like, the fuck the up. These human beings exist and it's gross and it's awful. Andrew Tate's a weird man. He's a guy that probably has mommy issues and he probably got hurt. But you don't see other guys doing that. They move. This is great. This is like a normal reaction to it. On with their lives. Everybody moves on. If you got your heart broken, oh well. Another thing he says is that men build everything you see around you. Women built nothing. So their place is at home and cooking. I'm not even gonna lie, but like. Men be starting wars. Men be messing everything the fuck up. Look at the state of the world right now. You kind of agree with that? Yeah. Andrew Tate, get the fuck over it. Move on with your life. Get grow educated. Up. Grow, up. grow up. And you're bold. I'm so oh. sorry. You're bold. Like, I don't listen to you're bold, bold men. Ugly. Oh. He said that whatever you see around you was built by men. Women built nothing. Their place is at home cooking. Well, I'd rather be at home cooking. <laughs> 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 Is Andrew Tate here? I'm gonna f***ing find you and peg you, Andrew Tate! Wait. I'm gonna take a big sh** on and stick it in your Don't even with me, bro! It's Don't purple! It's purple!
Oh my god, fucking Zoomer New Yorkers, I but swear to god. Traffic women like, like proudly, like, and you have this whole hustlers university pyramid scheme that you run, yeah. And Hassan did own you on that Twitch stream. You are a loser. I think that he. Hasanabi his dude. I swear. Apologize. You made them like this. I did the Cardinal Hasanabi. Uh, I, I broke the Cardinal Hasanabi rule. By the way, yeah, this is a good reminder to everybody that said, stop platforming Andrew Tate, stop platforming Andrew Tate. Yeah, guess what, dude? The impact is out there, okay? He one is just promoting a lot of harmful stereotypes and violence towards... By the way, Hasanabi, Hasanabi hit is popping off, okay? Look at that. Reeling it back in, promoting a lot making of good points. Harmful stereotypes and violence towards, like, just women and also just like non-binary people because i can't even imagine what he thinks about that i think he's an angry closeted gay <laughs> and then there's a bunch of like young boys now being convinced that this is the way you need to approach women and this is why things are going wrong with women mm -hmm. but that's not how you talk to women at all or anyone he frankly. literally promotes violence against women yes. and all the men following in it following in his footsteps are pretty much writing their own jail oh yeah, this is what he says okay so he says that a man who sleeps with 200 women is the man but a woman who oh sleeps God, with 200 men yeah. is worthless it's called the misogynistic uh way that his brain like just like it's a the mental illness i think like, what are your thoughts on andrew tate I okay, that's definitely a Hassan Abi hit too. I was gonna say I'm, I'm not taking ownership of that one, but that's a that's a trademark. I think that he is everything wrong and hateful with the world right now. Can I ask? Are you guys Muslim? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we are. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. So, we're we Muslims are in a predicament because he said some really good things about Islam. Mm -hmm. He said that Islam is the last religion. No one can go against it. You can find a bunch of women who adhere to Islam who are still virgins to the age of 25 waiting for an enraged marriage. Oh, yeah. 100%. You will not find that under Christianity. 100%. How do you feel? Like, he said good things about Islam, but now he's saying all these things about women. Just because you say nice things about Islam, if you're going to say... Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Hello? If you are listening... What the fuck's going on? I've never seen a YouTube shutdown moment like this before. That's weird. Because in Islam, you have to respect women. You have to value women. So how can you say such hateful things? And how can you make money off of cam girls and then also try and gain? Wait, are, is, the, is something happening to the Twitch stream too? Or is it just the, is it just the YouTube video? The Muslim population's like respect. I think just because oh, okay. you say one thing, your behavior shows a lot more than that. For example, just because somebody says one thing that I agree with, that doesn't mean that I'm going to take everything that they say as the truth from then on out. I think she didn't want to be on camera, Chad. That's oh, why he Islam uh, is such blocked a her out. Religion, and the Quran says nothing but equality and peace and love between both genders and respect between both genders. And he stands for everything against that. If you have a message for Andrew Tate. I hope that he gets love in his life because he obviously doesn't. And... I hope that he Islam says to respect women. Every religion says to respect women. It's the application of uh, the supposed fucking values that a lot of people have interpreted that says disrespect women in numerous ways. That's just like most basic comprehension, dude. The most basic parts of every religion is like be be nice to people. You know what I mean? Like the Ten Commandments, shit like that. The problem is that the practical application of it doesn't exactly bear itself out in that way. Specifically because most people that have interpreted it in positions of power have used it to reinforce 
whatever kind of oppressive constructs that they fucking chose to build society around. For the record. He sees the true way of the world. Islam most disrespectful towards women. Fuck it. I mean, every religion you can find, interpretations and writings that you can absolutely fucking say is, is uh, completely... Uh, overriding the idea that, uh, overriding the idea that like women are even people, okay? Religion has a bunch of cringe shit in it, okay? It has a bunch of cringe shit in it, okay? Baked into it. But you have to remember, no one fucking operates uh, in an exact literalist uh, attitude when it comes to religion. Even the most, even the most zealot, uh, even the most like fucking pro religion person. Doesn't actually follow the religion to a T. There's, in, it, there's inherent contradictions within the scripture. No matter which Abrahamic religion you're looking at, ultimately it's all a matter of interpretation and what kind of uh, tool for social cohesion it is, okay? What kind of purpose it serves for social, co social cohesion and, and uh, collectivization and creating a sense of uh, community. world now the true way of islam if that's truly what you believe in and that's something that you aspire to believe in and follow and i hope you just leave women alone we've had enough trouble recently and you adding on with all of your violence and hatred is unfathomable he has some interesting takes on women and i want you guys to just tell me what you think about what he says okay then women are incompetent we all know that women can't do anything as soon as i needed police help and two women turned off i knew the game was I knew they were useless. Of course they are. The women. I think he's a little bitch boy well, who's never I bet gotten a piece of in his entire life. And not, not in fact, he actually has a lot of women. Yeah, but it's not consensual. He's a face and he can go himself because women are very competent. We give birth. Like, we do so someone much. Who, we do everything. I just think someone who claims what? to be so successful shouldn't be on the internet begging for attention all the time. He actually said that a man who cries, the woman that's with him is ugly and fat, so she's with him because he cries. A real woman would be with a man that doesn't cry. Because, like, what the f like men have feelings too why is he putting out this message that alpha male like can we like forget about that for a second and realize everyone's human he says depression doesn't exist oh, Jesus. it doesn't make any sense because i've been on antidepressants for the last five years because i have a chemical imbalance if i do not have medication i oh i can't wait for the motherfuckers to chirp in now and be like oh well technically it's not a chemical imbalance it's been disproven even though it's like actually antiquated data that they were looking at and like certain chemicals were not even addressed in that serotonin study it's serotonin is um even that study itself is like kind of faulty but it corresponds to people's like personal biases about the chemical imbalance rhetoric so uh can't wait for everybody to fucking pop off on that one in the chat everybody shut the fuck up I'm at risk for developing more mental health issues. If you have a message for Andrew Tate, what would it be? Uh, use science and not idiocy. You need to like... See, immediately. Chemical imbalance was recently disproven. Um, that study only looks at serotonin, and even that itself is like relatively faulty. So uh, it doesn't even fucking matter regardless. Uh, okay. Accept yourself first, and then start accepting others. Like, this shows how insecure you are, and how messed up your life could be, you need help. Stop spreading dangerous messages to people and work on being true to yourself and confident in yourself. Yeah. Life's too short to be as negative as you are. Spread some positivity, bro. Like, for real. And he said, everything you see is built by men. What did women build? <laughs> life. Life. She's life. right. Life. You life. wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for your mom. Like, I don't understand this. So men couldn't have built any of this if it wasn't for women. Women nowadays are building a lot too. A woman is his product and whatever she's making should give him 80% of what she makes. Well, obviously that mindset is very problematic and wrong in every Drip. Which way. Drip. And if anyone Drip. believes that, then you need help. Drip. Bass Pro so Shop. Drip. Andrew Tate. I don't know what you're doing. Women are smarter in every way, honestly. My girlies. If you had a message for Andrew Tate, what would it be? No, girly, no. 
That's all. This guy is a legend. Do you know who Andrew Tate is? <laughs> of course. That's the goal right there. That's my boy. <laughs> Who don't know who that is? You're, you're you're a different take now because everybody here was like really angry towards him. So tell me what you think about. Why, why they angry? He's speaking. He's speaking reality. Why are you gonna get mad? Cause he's telling you to treat me like a king and you want to be treated like a queen. But I don't understand what's wrong with society today. If you had a message for Andrew Tate, what would it be? Look straight to the camera. Oh, uh, Andrew Tate. I'm not gonna lie. You said you was gonna get Jake Paul a Bugatti. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for a Bugatti. If you want to give me a car, you know what I'm saying? It could be a Honda 2018. You know what I'm saying? EX. You know what I'm saying? Just in case if you want to gift it. But that, 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 that's it, my boy. But uh, keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. All right. <laughs> Stay woke, King. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. He thought he could ride Andrew Tate's dick into a Bugatti. But then lowered it very quickly. He's like, maybe if I, he's like, maybe if I ride his dick hard enough, I could ride in a Honda Civic instead.